This is Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com with a weekly market update for the week beginning August the 3rd, 2009. And we're looking at the NASDAQ here, which closed at 1978.50 here on Friday. And the NASDAQ has had a great July. Um, it has rocketed about 283 points off the bottom here in early July at 17.27 to a high on Thursday of almost 2010. That's about a 16% uh, run for the NASDAQ uh, this month, so very powerful. Down here we'll see uh, all these gray bars. These are the up days, so the NASDAQ had a string of 12 consecutive up days. And I don't think an index has done that for, uh, for quite a while, so very impressive. Uh, I call the market turn here. Uh, I drew this uh, line of resistance here. When it crossed that line there and the MACD down here, which is the Moving Average Convergence Diversions, it's a tool that I use, crossed as well. That gave us a buy signal short term, and we've rocketed 8% uh, since then in about two weeks. So great session uh, for the NASDAQ. And along with stocks, commodities have also had a nice move, uh, breaking out at about the same time, uh, coming off lows here uh, in July, and uh, moving up past this resistance line for a 13% move. Uh, overall. Oil also uh, had an impressive run in July. This is the USO, the United States Oil Fund, which tracks the price of uh, crude oil. Had a low here of 31.57 in uh, early July and uh, moved up uh, about 17 percent here uh, to a high of 37.09, uh, making a new fresh high here on Friday. So very impressive with the oil as well. And just about the time when stocks and commodities were zooming, uh, the dollar uh, has been falling, uh, breaking this line of resistance here at about mid-July and falling to new fresh lows uh, here on Friday. And the low here on Friday was uh, 78.22, uh, which took out this low here we made in June of 78.33, making for uh, new lows for the year for the dollar. And finally, looking here at the FXI, which tracks Chinese stocks, we can see this had a powerful rally here beginning in early July, breaking through resistance here at about mid-July, right up with the American markets, and then zooming to new highs. Um, the uh, FXI had a 20% run uh, off the bottom, beating all the markets. So a lot of strength here in the stocks as the dollar falls. Looking at the, at the NASDAQ again, we can see that we have had a very powerful rally here. Um, moving 16% up off the bottom with really not a pause at all. Uh, so I would expect one, uh, though you never know. The signals uh, are not really uh, showing any, uh, any sign of a pause yet. Um, if we look at the MACD, we can still see that it's very strong. Uh, right here, this is on balance volume. That's getting stronger. And also, if you go down here and look at stochastics, we can see that they're embedded, which means that they're remaining above 80 for three days in a row or more. This is a sign of strength as well. So I would, uh, you know, all the, all the indicators are saying that we're going to ha have continued strength in the markets, uh, but we are due for a correction. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. As you may know, making big money in stocks is all about being aboard the handful of true market leaders during a strong bull market. At GoldenTicker.com, we concentrate on locating only the strongest stocks and give you proper buy and sell points based upon our proven trading models. We also monitor the health of the general market to let you know when conditions are favorable. I'd like to invite you to begin your free two-week trial at goldenticker.com now and get full access to all our stock picks, advanced lessons, and more.